Jeff, I wanted to start with you first. When you're working on a project where a character has lived in a different medium, what was something that you wanted to make sure was brought translated from page to screen, and what's something new that you brought to him? Um, so I must say that the 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 scripts were already so good, you know. So I didn't do the the work of of bringing him to life from the book that did David E. Kelly and his team um, adapted and created the show based on those books. I read the books uh, because I was so curious and they're really great, but, um, but the work of adapting was, uh, and the idea of adapting it and bringing it from Israel, um, an older detective um, to, to, to a, an American NYPD detective uh, mm -hmm. and also to add to that, you know that he's religious in the books he's not religious um different characters like the character of Judy Harris all those adaptations were made by by David Kelly and his team great answer Juliana for you your character was created for this series does that bring a different sense of freedom originating a character what should audiences know about her sure I think I mean I think that there are amazing things about bringing a character who exists in the world to life um a new iteration, but there's also, as you said, tremendous freedom in getting to create Detective Janine yeah. Harris, who, as I found, is um, an extremely bright and very ambitious and almost impatiently ambitious new detective who is eager to learn and to rise in the ranks. Um, but she has very little experience in the field mm -hmm. as smart and well prepared as she is and sees in Avi the perfect guide I think through the complexities of being in this industry in a town that's as complicated and um, diverse and changeable as New York. I love that. And, you know, Avi was very opposed to having a partner, but Janine may be exactly what he needs. And there's such a great dynamic <laughs> that comes off the screen between the two of you and this push, push and pull relationship. How did the both of you approach this dynamic and how will your character challenge the other? I, I, I mean, you put it very, very well. Avi needed, needed Janine so badly. He just didn't know we needed her so badly and she with such chutzpah and um you know and 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 she's so smart and she surprises him and he catches himself like huh you know she comes with quotes uh from the talmud and uh from and i must say this was also in real life like that juliana was quoting and saying sentences in yiddish that um uh, that, that so many jews wouldn't know and uh i don't know it was just so uh so inspiring uh, to work with with Avi as Janine and and Jeff with Juliana. So um. yeah, I, I think that Janine and Avi are really they're an odd couple, but kind mm -hmm. of a perfect one. And I think that Avi encourages Janine to find stillness and to be patient and to let answers emerge rather than forcing them out. Um, he has such a creative approach to being a detective. And I think that Janine helps yank him back down to earth. Um, I think he, it's very lonely, the, the space that he occupies in his thoughts with his drawings of fish and his very singular drive towards the answers. And I think Janine is maybe the only person who's willing to climb up that mountain and say, hey buddy, you gotta come down and eat dinner. You can't just <laughs> I'm stay down. Up the time. You're a person, you're not a, you're not a magician. Yeah. And that's kind of, I think, what they have to teach each other. Yeah, definitely. I got one final question for the both of you. For Avi, this is more than a job to him. It's his life calling. How did each of you discover your calling in life as storytellers? So 
like you said, Avi's calling is, is his job. It's everything to him. It's only purpose in life is, is that, um, I don't know if it's healthy, but this is the way it is. Um, I, my calling as telling stories and being an actor and I very long, I was, I didn't know you can become, be, you can become an actor. You know, I thought it's like aristocracy or born like this or not. I didn't know there are acting schools. Mm. So um, I started pretty late and I was looking for something and I didn't know what I'm looking for. And the first time that I prepared monologues um, for me was this kind of, I was about, I was 23. And I remember this was the first time in my life that I felt it was like, drinking water that that after years of, of 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 being thirsty you know it was it was just it was everything made sense in in once that everything everything made sense and and it's still like this for me i'm, I'm when i'm acting i'm in a state of flow and um yeah um i went to drama school and we had a teacher who advised us as a class to follow the fun in life. Mm. Um, I did my first play when I was seven. I was in a children's Shakespeare theater, hilarious, like a bunch of seven year olds um, <laughs> reciting Shakespeare. And I'd never had so much fun, so much serious fun. You know, it wasn't silly, it was serious, but it was fun. And I think that being an actor, it's like, one of the things that has never stopped being fun. And that's just kind of all I can ask for, you know? Mm -hmm.